Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Before we start this video, I want to show you some resources that myself and the team at Rebel have been working to perfect. So we uh, are finally able to show you right here the artist pad from Tablet Pro. It works perfectly with Rebel 4.1 and later. I have a tutorial on my resource page for Rebel 4. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, it really just gives you all the different tools that you that you want to be using uh, right at your fingertips so you can resize, size, open panels, uh, do basically all the different things that you'd want to be able to do. And switch brushes, all that jazz. Okay, so here is the resource page I have here at the top, the guide that'll tell you what all the different buttons do, this one right here. There's an affiliate purchase link right here, this blue button. If you use that, it'll help me continue development as well as support my family. And I really appreciate you using that. If you need a stylus, I have one on the website as well. This designed for artists and I like it. It's the one I use all the time as opposed to the two service pens I have. So there's tutorials here, right here. There's an introduction. There's the essential series, the brush creator series, and I will have advanced tutorials here as well, including a lot of demos, the PDF, for Rebel 4.1 and later will be hosted here as well. And the artist pad for Tablet Pro, you can find it right here. The install guide for Tablet Pro is right here as well. And that will walk you through setting up the artist pad that you saw uh, just a moment ago. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. If you guys are using a stylus to do digital art on a Windows 10 tablet, this is a fantastic channel for you. So subscribe right now. Hi, my name is Justice, and in this video, we're going to be going through the five different paint modes for wet and dry media, as well as watercolors, very specific transparency modes. And oils has a dirty brush mode, which you're going to want to have on all the time. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start by putting some colors down on the screen. We're going to select the first mode, paint. And we're just going to put down a couple different colors so that I can demonstrate these modes to you. A nice purple. And back to a reddish color. All right, so we use the paint mode. The keyboard shortcuts for these are one, two, three, four, and five. So paint, what this is going to do is this is going to paint a solid color with no blending directly over the top. Number two is going to do a little bit of color mixing. So you can see right here on the edge, you can see a little bit of color is absorbing into that, mixing into there. Blend, this one is my personal favorite. Uh, with a little bit of light pressure, you can blend and a little bit of heavier pressure, push down a little harder. It's going to add more color. Blend number four is going to just move the color that's already on the canvas. It's going to move the paint that already exists there. And number five, which should be in every single drawing program. I love this feature. It's a race with the brush that you already have selected. An absolute must have. All right, let's go ahead and undo. And I'm going to show you the transparency modes here. The transparency modes are right over here. We have transparent, semi-opaque, and opaque. We're going to go ahead and select transparent. And we're going to use this nice red color. And going over the top, you can see that it's got almost a multiply type of a look. It, it's not going to cover over. It's more going to kind of glaze over the top of the underlying color. All right, semi-opaque. Actually, let's go ahead and go straight to opaque. And here... You can see it's going to go right over the top. It'll cover and mask that uh, the colors underneath. Semi-opaque is going to be kind of a blend of transparent and opaque. All right, let's go ahead and look at these inside of the oil paints. All right, we're going to look at that same thing here in oils. So let's add some more colors. And I have Dirty Brush turned off. going to paint right here and right here and what you're going to see here is that it's not really mixing the colors to get a different color it's adding 
little bits of those colors that we just painted over onto the bristles of the brush and giving that dirty feel. This is how normal painting works. Now, having dirty brush on is going to give you a lot more natural look in your painting. Uh, it's not very realistic to have a perfectly flat color when you're painting, especially with oils. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay creative, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.